Good afternoon, America. It's time to get real as a motherfucker. Parents, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the trap that you're putting your children in and how it is eventually gonna fucking destroy their life and their health just like it's destroyed your life and your health. So think about it. When you're four or five years old and you have a bad day at school, Right? Ah, your mom comes and picks you up and says, Oh, honey, it's okay. Let's go get you a treat from the store. Let's go get you an ice cream. Right there establishes the fucking belief in the association that when shit is not going well in your life, you can turn to food to get comfort. And now, this belief system is create, created and you start to go through the fucking motions and go through the motions and every single time some shit shows up in your life, you turn to the ice cream, you turn to the food. This is the root of your problem, not the diet you're on, not the exercise program. I got off the phone with a lady today and I said, you know, what do you think the biggest issue standing in your way from where you are to where you want to go? And she said, oh, it's diet. <laughs> Bullshit. Diet's important, sure, but if you don't fix the root of the problem, if you don't fix the emotional connections and the associations that you have that is the reason that you shove your fucking face full of food and the reason that you sabotage and eat the food that you know isn't good for you, then you will never have success. You will never have success. I cannot hammer this fucking point in enough. When are you guys going to open your fucking eyes? When are you going to understand that it isn't the diet, it isn't the exercise program. It's the way that you view and associate food. It is the psychological tendencies that you have attached to what is going to make you feel better. And so you go have a bad day and you get the ice cream trying to fill up on a fucking feeling. And do you ever actually create or fill up on the feeling that you're looking for? No. You feel more like shit after it's gone. This is what you guys get to understand. Your problem is not the diet. Your problem is not the exercise program. Your problem is the way that you think. And if you continue to think the same way that you always had, you're going to have the same shit results that you've always had. So what's it going to be? Are you going to understand the truth? Are you going to start to peel the layers and get underneath the surface level shit? Because if you don't, same shit's going to show up different day. This is the saddest part because you were raised that way. Now you're setting your kids up for the same failure. Oh, honey, you had a bad day? Here's a lollipop. Let's go to the store and get you a thing. What are you telling them? You're telling them that if shit shows up in their life and stuff isn't okay or they're having a bad day, that they get a reward. That they get to shove their fucking face with sugar. Parents, wake the fuck up. This is Tyson James Lee reminding each and every one of you to be about that action, boss.